Welcome back, Redneck Small Engine and Auto Repair. Today, back on that van out there. Yes, it's a mess. I gotta clean all that up, but I gotta work on that van today. Putting uh, the uh, 2000 Toyota Sienna. And today, we are putting brake caliber brackets. Here's new guide pins. And then we got the little rubber bushings and these style bushings. These style bushings are the ones you got to knock in into the brake caliber bracket. Yeah, I was going to do a video yesterday, but it take too long. But yesterday, I placed a wheel bearing on a long uh, 07 up blender. Easy to do, easy to do. And we changed out the struts off of it. Front left and front right. This one's the front right, I do believe. They were making noises and they got a top here i don't know if you can see it or not but the bushing is kind of the other one's worse the bushings are going bad and it's real rusted up top so i do believe the bearing was just going out over up top but yeah the brake pins and stuff are stuck on that today fix it call the guy come get it yeah it's basically just going to be the video today i'm going to fire up the kerosene heater warm up a little bit in here so yeah uh let me get the kerosene heater fired up and then we'll knock them bushings and them caliber brackets and then we'll pull the van in and then uh get to it so uh i'll be back okay i got one done and you see they move this one moves all right now we're gonna I'll show you how to do this one just gonna put it like that on a piece of wood hold it up and get these two out of here uh -oh, they only sent me three of them supposed to be four oh uh, well I only do with what I got, I guess. Let me check up here on my table. Yeah, they only sent me three of them. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Work with what you got, I guess. That's how it's going to be. This one's only getting one in it because I ain't paying for a whole other thing to get that one part. It'll be alright, it ain't gonna hurt it none. What I'm gonna do is take this little rubber piece, it's gonna be missing one of them, but I might pull it back out, take one off of the one over there. I think it's got one on it, I might. See if I can get it off. What we're gonna do is take comes with some silicone grease. We're gonna take it, cut it, and get it out. What I'm gonna do is put some down in these holes just to begin with. I already sprayed all these out with a uh, brake clean everything i'm gonna take a this ain't got size on it but i'm gonna take an old spark plug socket put them right down in there get up on here get about straight you hear a tone difference that went down on that one side but not this other one it's 
We're going to take it and hammer it down like it. Just hammer it in. So one thing you got to do, we're going to do the same thing over here. See if we need to go down anywhere. Nope. It's in. We're going to take our silicone grease here. Gonna put it on bolt. As I get it to come out, might have to cut this a little bit bigger. We're gonna smear it all over here, just so it stays nice and everything. And then just gotta push it down in there till it goes in. Works up and down real nice. There's this leaf that got stuck there. I need to sweep my garage out. Stuff that came in yesterday working on mom's uplander. We're gonna smear some silicone grease on the end down here. Move it up. Stick it. Let me get it worked around. There we go. Well, <clears throat> we got her moving. Now they're both moving. Now I gotta move the van in here. Well, I don't know what's that. These, I'm gonna move that van in here. Get it up. And we'll go do one side and then we'll go get the other side. So, uh, I'll be back. Okay, so here's what I'm working with. Missing one boat, got one boat. So yeah, they complain about a grinding noise. Right there is your grinding noise. I don't know if, how you can see that shiny spot. Caliber is hitting the rotor. That's what's making their grinding noise. And I'm just gonna switch these brake pads because they don't want to change them right now. And it's brake hardware over onto the new ones. And then, yeah, just be, get that good to go. New axle I put in looks pretty good. This is one I put the axle in a couple weeks ago or so. It still looks good though. We get this uh, axle nut. Put on one of the lug studs. Get one of the lug nuts. Screw it up on there. Well, actually, this one will hold it anyway. Also on these lug nuts, where they're flat and they're open, you can just actually screw them on there backwards and hold the brake rotor. Uh, I brought my sockets over it. We're gonna need. If I can get this off of my thing and we did. Caliber hooks come in handy. Now let's get this one off. Get my air hose out of my way. Like I said, all these should come loose with not much of a problem because I just had all this off to change axles, so. Let's see, let's get the brake rotor. Alright. Oh, that's loose. We're just gonna take this nut out of it, or the bolt. We're just gonna leave the guide pins and everything in here. Because, well, we don't need them really. Besides that. 
one. We'll, I'll check it on the other side, though. I'm just going to show y'all this one side. And then yeah, look at all the where it's hitting that rotor. They could use some new brake pads, so for real. But I'll tell them about it. They're talking about changing out the struts on here. So, I mean, if they want to change them out, that ain't nothing. I'll do it. Get this little air tool, little air oil. I should have done had all this done. I'm gonna add a little oil into my air gun here. Well, the impact. Now we're just gonna zip these off. Make sure I ain't trying to tighten it though. I'm just gonna zip all these off. This one's our left. We're gonna take our bolts out and be mindful. Check your check your bolt heads, make sure they're the same size, because a lot of companies will switch the bolt heads, which these are the same size, so we're good. It's gonna have both bolts in it, so we are good on that. I'm gonna put the brake hardware. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all know how to do brake hardware, so I'm just going to put the brake hardware in the same spot I take it out of. That way, nothing is different. The only thing that's going to be different is... Well, the only thing that's going to be different is just the brake cover bracket. Just gonna take that out. I ain't gonna need no grease or anything to put on here because, like I said, I don't have to tell them they're gonna need new brake pads anyway, so it don't really matter if it does or not. I like to just go ahead and put new brake pads on here, but. Only do what the person wants to do, you know. If you're working on something for somebody, word of advice, always be nice to them. Even if they try to G you down or whatnot, just, you know, tell them, you know, hey, this is what I charge, this is what I get. Yeah, you know, just, yeah, I mean, you ain't gotta be that way, but just be respectful to them. A lot's messing me up there. thing right down here you push a button once disconnect the air push it again disconnect the tool if you got air it likes to leak then they come in handy but then you forget to put them on and they come pain is 
until it kicks off. Okay, it's finally kicked off. What are we gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you. See his pin, boots rip, but it moves a little. This pin, nothing. The other side, both of them, like this one, won't move at all. This one still moves a little bit, tight, but it still moves. But uh. Yeah, so now all we gotta do is uh, get our caliber. We got the rotor on, rotor nearly come off. Got a brake caliber bracket on, and my light just fell. I just hit it. Be honest, why it ain't gonna tilt on me. Like these lights, and I hate them too. But we got our brake caliber here. We got a brake caliber bracket on. Pads are installed. So now all we gotta do. It's just work that right down on there. Your boat started. Well, always take them all in for the canvas hand. And the only thing you gotta do I can click that ratchet. The only thing you gotta do is tighten them up. I know I'm in your life, but tighten them up, you're done. Oh yeah, don't forget. Take your lug nut and the axle socket or axle nut. Take your lug nut and your axle nut off. Or if you just put it on backwards, don't forget to take your lug nut off. And then that's it. Caliber brackets installed. There ain't gonna be no more hitting the metal shavings, which I better blowing metal shavings off there. There we go. Now I'm gonna go do the other side, and but here's y'all video just changing caliper bracket. I did mark these in white that way they're easier to see. It's got an L for Leah and and R for right, so you can't mix them up. But if it ain't got it, look at it, which I do believe they're basically the same anyway. But who knows, there might be a little bit of difference in there. So I just want to mark them. Just look at your part number on your order. I got these off Rock Auto. But just look at the part number on your order and then it'll tell you which one's left, which one's right. Put it on there. You know, you can mark it with a paint marker or whatever, that way you know. And uh, another thing, uh, before you put these things in, before you put your little bushings right here in, what I did, uh, had a little bit of gunk down in here. It was nasty looking, the pins wouldn't slide in and out and stuff, so uh, I cleaned them out. You can get like a little, you know, like a paintbrush cleaner or something, a pipe cleaner, anything. I even tried to dig it out with a screwdriver, but spray it down with some brake clean, let it dry real good. And there you go. But there's your video for changing brake caliber brackets on this 2000 Toyota Sienna. I'll try to get in the video description and see what all these brake caliber brackets fit and what year. And I'll link it or I'll put it in the description. But I know this is just a 2000 Toyota Sienna. And, but yeah, so there's your video. I know I ain't put much out. I put them out when I can. And I got time today. It's just me and my wife and one of my kids here that are in school. So I got time to make a video. So I wanted to make a video on my mom's 2007 Uplander, but couldn't do it. I need to get it done and over with. So yeah, so 
But yeah, if I do struts on this, if I decide to do struts, then I'll make a video on doing the struts and everything. But there you go. Y'all have a good day and take care.